Spectacular Magazine. We on the scene. This is Bree Jamison here on the scene for Spectacular Magazine. Here in front of the PNC Arena, where moments ago, Secretary Cohen and Reverend Barber both received the Johnson & Johnson COVID-19 vaccine. It's been great to uh, be able to be here to get my vaccine. I got the Johnson & Johnson vaccine this morning. We wanted to make sure that everyone knows how important it is to get your vaccine. You know, there are some things that were concerning about Johnson & Johnson in the past and the number of things. But I believe when we look at the way that this vaccine was um, processed, the procedures, the reviews, the way it was tested in the trials, I feel safe about this. And I say that the time is now to focus on this vaccine for this moment. And I think it's important for folks to know there are no fetal tissue, there's right. no fetal cells in the Johnson & Johnson vaccine. That is not accurate. We're not injecting COVID into us. Um, what it is, it helps our body train to recognize COVID. So if we do encounter COVID when we're out in the community, our bodies will be ready to fight it off, but it does not inject COVID into us. The last four weeks in North Carolina, uh, more than 20% of our vaccines have gone to those in the African-American community. And if you bring the vaccine to folks, make it accessible, that folks want the vaccine. In March, is really, I think, a turning point in the supply. We're really starting to see that ramp up. And so I think you're going to see more and more ability for us to get more and more vaccine out. You get it to the people, get it in the community any way you can, safely and properly. People will take the vaccine. We will save lives and we will come out of it. Bottom line is, either everybody gets out of this ditch or nobody gets out of this ditch. Either everybody gets out of this pandemic or nobody gets out of this pandemic. Spectacular Magazine, we on the scene.